Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY. If you guys didn't already know, I... Uh... I dislocated my knee. And now, because of that, I have to walk around on crutches and a bitch is not about to walk in some basic ass crutches. So, I thought why not bedazzle my crutches? Because if you guys know me, you know I'm extra. Everything needs to be bling. Everything needs to be flamboyant, okay? So these crutches are about to be hella shiny in about a couple hours. If you guys don't already know, I upload every single week. Every single week. Look out for a video every single week. Hey, hey. Hey, and don't forget to hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. And if you guys want to see the full story on how I even dislocated my knee, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. Oh God, you're going to want to watch that. And to top it off, it was all caught on camera. Let's get started. So before I do anything, I'm just going to let you guys know that I am going to list everything down below everything i got is from amazon and i'm partnered with amazon influencers so if you guys do buy things from the links that i have down below i'm gonna let you guys know everything that i got okay so if i'm not laying in bed i'm walking around with my crutches and my brace this is my first time i've ever been injured so like these things are very new to me i'm wearing this brace right it's literally the best thing ever it was 16 dollars. you wrap it around your leg and then you wrap this around to make it nice and supportive your kneecap goes over here and it just really supports your knee so if you guys have like knee problems this is the way to go i'll link it down below so whenever i was looking for rhinestones I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I want to do individual rhinestones because not only will it be kind of bulky, it'll be, you know, out, not on the surface. But if it starts falling, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to go back and put those stones back in. So I was thinking, let me get a sheet of rhinestone so I could cut. I could just wrap it around. It's going to be one layer, super clean, super sleek, right? So what I did was I went on Amazon and I looked up rhinestone sheets and I found different measurements measurements of sheets and what I did is I mathematically added up like the height the width with the surrounding it's kind of complicated if I tell you but basically I'm gonna link down below which one I got that basically wraps every single crevice of this crutch and this crutch is for people from the height 510 to 66 so the rhinestone sheet I got is an extra large. They also have large, which is a little bit shorter. So all those details will be down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. She looks like this. It has a sticky adhesive on the outside. Oh my God. Are you guys ready? This is blingy. <laughs> Can we just take a moment and just, wow. Whoa. I went a little bit blind for a second. That is, that is shiny. This is pretty big. So it looks like this. There we go. You guys, this is so blingy. Is it, is it like catching up on camera? The bling to this? Cause wow, wow, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna take my measuring tape. I'm like seeing double. This shit is shiny as hell. So just, oh wow. That, we just got super dark. Okay, that's how shiny it is. So I'm gonna measure this sheet. Let's see, because I forgot the measurement. Okay, 23 and a half by 15 and a half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure how much the circumference is on this. So it looks like it's two and a half inches. Okay, so we're gonna measure two and a half inches, cut it, and then paste it. Super easy, super easy. So two and a half is right there. And I'm gonna do a little mark just to make sure. A lot of people ask me like, how are you staying sane in this situation? Cause my lifestyle completely changed. Like I shower with a chair in the shower. I can't walk. I'm laying in bed all the time. And people are like, how do you, how do you stay sane? And I just find these little outlets to kind of keep me busy and it's, pretty fun. You gotta get, you know, you gotta make the best out of every situation. My MRI came out gnarly. I have a whole story time on how I dislocated my knee. Link is down below. So I measured two and a half and I'm cutting it all the way down. Dude, deadass, I'm getting hypnotized. It's like I can't see straight. 
We got strip number one down. I also got Gorilla Glue just in case from Amazon. So let's see how the adhesive on the actual sheet works. And then if I need to, I'll go in with Gorilla Glue. So I'm gonna do the front of the crutch just in case something happens. I don't know, okay, I'm scared, I'm scared. Let's do this. DIY bitch, we got a DIY. I mean, this is pretty thick. So it's gonna, I think it's gonna stick. This is pretty thick, so I think it's gonna stick. This is pretty thick and I think it's gonna stick. Hey, hey, hey. Did I get it? Uh-huh. Ooh, sticky. Okay, let's do it a section at a time and let's see. <gasps> so let's have it go like this, like this, like this, like that. And then I'm gonna just do this. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. I am gonna die. Wow. Wow. Look, I mean, look at the before and after. This is before, right? Like a basic ass crutch. And then this is after. A blinged, beautiful. Divalicious crutch. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. This is a sight to see, okay? A sight to see. All right, time to do the rest. Okay, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure from here to here, cut it, leave this for the last part. You have to be a little bit mathematically uh, tactical or you might waste rhinestones. You know what I mean? So we'll calculate everything before. Okay, and another thing, it came out a little bit short on the inside part, but it doesn't matter. Who sees the inside part, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side just because if it does run out, let's say it does, at least it'll run out on the bottom. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna grab my other crutch, do the same thing, and then we're gonna move down. You get what I mean? All right, crutchy. First, we gotta measure two and a half inches, bitch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait to show my mama. She's gonna say I'm so extra, bitch. What's new here? Wait, I just noticed I did less than two and a half. It actually came out perfect. Oh, even better. Okay. Let me measure how much I did. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, I measured two inches. I didn't do two and a half inches. Oh my God, this, this rhinestone seriously got my eyesight kind of blurry. So you're gonna do two inches. Cause I was cutting that, I'm like, this kind of looks wide. So it's gonna be two inches, okay, in diameter. Measure it, mark it, measure and mark, measure and mark. This is so easy and so not time consuming. You just cut and paste, literally. So I don't even need to use the Gorilla Glue from what it looks like, cause it's pretty sticky. The adhesive is like a nice gooey, gummy adhesive. So I'll just save that Gorilla Glue for other things in the house, cause I use Gorilla Glue a lot. Pop, lock and drop it. That's what I did last week. <laughs> Ended me up and then ER. Pop, lock and drop it. Where are you, bitch? Here you are. So exciting. Wow, I've never had this much fun in so long. So long meaning one week since my injury. So I'm just gonna peel and I'm just gonna center, center it. And I'm just gonna flatly go like this. Yes, okay, wrap, wrap. This looks stunning. So whenever it gets to this part where you can't skip that little um, screw thing, what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the same two inches in width. Right when you get to this measurement, you're gonna cut it this way. I'll show you guys. So you're gonna cut it this way and then you're gonna cut out however much this is and then keep on going. Uh, that sounded confusing, let me demonstrate. So I cut the two inches. So I'm going to measure from here to the screw. So we have 18, one, okay. So when we get to that measurement right here, I'm gonna mark it, okay? So when I get to that measurement, I'm gonna cut this way. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, okay? So we're gonna get the crutch. We're going to paste this on. So it literally came just perfectly there. And I'm gonna just wrap this 
around like so. You can either put it like this if you don't wanna do the extra work, but because I'm very precise, I'm gonna make a little cut. We're gonna cut right here and we're gonna cut right here. So I made a mark right here, right here, whatever width this little circle thingy is, and we're just going to cut it going down. Or we could count stones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cut, cut. So I went like this. I'm completely coming up with these things, by the way. It's just whatever. I just come up with it out of nowhere. So when I do that, you see that little flap? Now you could just cut it off. First measure to see how much you could cut and then cut it off. I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna take off two rows. So I took off about like two rows of rhinestones. And see, just like that. I hope that made sense, by the way. One fear was that it would hurt whenever I put my skin on it, but it doesn't hurt at all. You know what I could do? I could even bedazzle this by the extra little piece that I took off. It could bedazzle the little screw. I'm so excited, but I'm even more excited to see my mom's reaction. That's gonna be good. So from what I remember, I think this sheet costed like 20, 28 or 23 or something like that. It was like 30 bucks, okay? 30 bucks to bedazzle your freaking crutches and look fabulous and delicious. count me in. By the way, I'm like super natural, no makeup. I'm very homey. I didn't want to do extra anything. How's it looking? It is looking fabulous. You could even use these as a mold on where to cut. So you're just not wasting time, you know what I mean? Because it's the same exact thing. So life hack. There goes the crackhead bed I see each morning. I'm a whole ass weirdo. So there's that. Oh my God, I'm about to whip these crutches out like left and right, like whack hose hit under the picture on the gram. How oh, you better hope I never run across your man, uh. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. Now time to work on the bottom half. So I'm gonna measure from here to here, which is about one foot. So let's cut until 12 inches. There goes the crackhead that I see each morning. Now that we got the two inches of this, we need 12 in length. So it's gonna look just like this. We're almost there, this is all I have left. I think this is gonna be exact. Wow, my math is just too good. And you could take it off and put it back on if you feel like it's too um, curved or whatever the case may be. Look at, do look at before and after. Oh my God. So now all that's left to do is this bottom part. So we're gonna go ahead and measure that. All right, let's see. How much do we got here? And how much is this? You guys, this is gonna be exact. Literally exact. Wow, I'm too good. So I got the little strip right here and we are going to end this. And just like that. We got a little spot right here, but with the extra rhinestones that we have, we can fill that in no problem. Oh my God, you guys, they're finished. They're finished. Please look at this. Oh my, okay. Like, please look at these. I'm actually deceased, wow. You guys, look at that. Oh my God, I feel like this camera is not doing it justice. It is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I'm very happy, I'm very happy I did this. And from the crutches, all that's left is this. I literally precisely measured everything and it worked out perfectly. I need to get my mom's reaction. Come upstairs, she's coming. Oh my god. Until I'm Mike, the joke that you call, she said. Aren't they so cute? Oh, I shall see them now. Isn't it so me? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's so me. Mm -hmm. I literally precisely measured everything. Thanks to you, my mathematic genes uh, are pretty oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful or entertaining. I'm really happy with the results and now I can't wait to go out with my crutches. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.